Good morning YouTube, welcome back to my channel. Today is the 12th of October and I am four days out. What? I'm four days out from my pre, from my pre, from my pro debut. Um, so this video is going to be a couple of days in the life, just showing you guys a little bit of glow up. Uh, what I'm packing for Telford, what I'm going to pack in my show suitcase and all that good stuff. So make sure to give the video a like. Also, please note that I'm not putting ads on these videos. So people that are doing your cardio right now, you know when you have to watch an advert and it like throws you off and you're like, oh shit, I'm doing cardio and it's like, you just want to get back into the video. You don't have that here on this channel, right? So that alone deserves a like if you ask me. Anyway, it's currently 5.15. Why am I awake? Why the fuck am I awake? I've done a little bit of work. I didn't even have that much to do this morning. So I'm gonna check in with Dan now, send my video across, and I might go back to bed. Do I go back to bed? I'm not even tired, but that's my body clock for you right now. To be fair, I am getting to sleep quite early, which is good. I'm sleeping better now, thank the Lord. Um, and I think that's just because I'm eating and I'm not doing loads of cardio. So, yeah, anyway, let's check in with Dan and go from there. Right, my check-in is back from Dan, and this is the update, guys. Prepare yourself. We're doing a low-carb day, which, to be fair, is actually fine. Um, obviously, we've pulled a lot of fatigue off now. We've freshened the physique up quite a bit. What we don't want to do, bearing in mind, obviously, food's going to be higher towards the show. Um, we don't want to, like, push the boat too much, you know, and lose the condition that I've just busted a nut for so um completely understand why he's put in a low day but that's what's happened which is fine like whatever but basically i'm not having any sweeteners at the moment i don't know if i've spoken about that on here but um in peak week dan likes to just pull sweeteners diet drinks energy drinks so that means no pepsi guys i haven't had a fucking pepsi max since saturday or was it Sunday? Saturday. Haven't had a Pepsi Max since, I think it was, was it, maybe it was Sunday. No, I think it was Saturday. But basically, I haven't had a Pepsi Max in a very long time, guys. Bearing in mind, I'm having at least one a day, if not two. Hatch had withdrawal symptoms on Monday. Maybe that's why I was feeling so low. <laughs> Genuine Pepsi Max withdrawals. But anyway, so no Pepsi Max, no Monster. Not too bothered about Monster, to be fair. Um, no sweetener in coffee, not a fan, to be honest with you, but manageable. Um, and then the worst one, which is now, which I didn't even realise was going to be a thing until I was just thinking, oh, okay, cool, low carb on a rest day, what's meal number one? Eggs. <laughs> so I'm about to have my egg pancakes with no fucking sweetener. Oh my god, I actually don't even want it. I genuinely don't even want it. I hate eggs, guys. You might know this already, but I just do not like eggs. I hate the texture, I hate the smell, I hate the taste. So obviously, normally, green egg pancakes, the sweetener, we're polishing it all in, we're putting the, the syrup over the top. Not today. So I am still going to use cinnamon, and I'm hoping that that's going to be enough to... It's not. It's not going to be enough, is it? <laughs> No one cares about Carla. It's just some eggs and probably going to be the last time I have to do it. I'm trying to think. I don't have another rest day. Unless he pulls it on Saturday. Jeez. Uh... Oh my god. Oh well. It's only going to be salmonella two days before my show. What's the date on this? Display until the 15th of October. Use best before the 22nd. Yeah. It's actually pretty good, isn't it? 
Anyway, I don't think I'm gonna get salmonella. It just looks a bit weird. <laughs> Whatever it takes, bro. Whatever it takes. Okay, so to put it into perspective, I would normally have this. I would normally have this, which I'm obviously not gonna risk. Um, sometimes I would also add in some of this, which is the banana. Um, and then I'd also, of course, add cinnamon. But today, we're just going to have to add, oh, and salt, obviously. One, two, three. Um, today, we're just going to have to add a shit ton of cinnamon in hope that that covers the taste. Sprinkle a bit of cinnamon on top, just in case. Don't think there's enough cinnamon in this already. I'm gonna go and sit and eat this, but I'm gonna do a, a taste test. <laughs> I'm gonna do a taste test now. I'll be a savage. I've literally just got a piece with nothing else on. I literally hate egg. Oh, man. That is not good. <laughs> that is not good. If you'd asked me that after 13 low days, I probably would have said it, it tasted all right, but <clears throat> it literally just tastes like egg. I need, to, I need to grow up. I need to grow up. Anyway, meal number one on a low carb day. Um, so yeah, we're running low carb today. To be fair, I've actually got quite a few plans today. I'm gonna go and see Hannah for a coffee, get my nails done. It's a busy trekking day, so it should be all right. Should be able to keep myself busy. Um, but yeah, I'll show you some of my meals today. Uh, yeah. Still licked the plate clean though, didn't I? <laughs> okay guys, it is 10 o'clock and I'm gonna go and get my nails done, which I'm so excited about. Obviously I know it's only Wednesday and I'm not competing until Sunday but I'm not going to get time tomorrow, I'm not going to get time on Friday and obviously Saturday is the show, like the other show, the Bikini Girls. So I'm just going to get it done now, is that risky? Like my nails never break, watch that be jinxed, watch that be jinxed. My nails do never break though and even if one breaks I can just go and get it fixed anyway. So I'm gonna do it now because it's a rest day today. If I go tomorrow, I'm gonna to be stressing because I need to train and I have a dentist appointment tomorrow as well. So yeah, anyway, let's go and get our nails done. Remember when I said I was only gonna wear these to the gym? <laughs> I literally wear them everywhere now. I am vlogging. Oh, so we'll get is a it of peak the... week? Peak week vlog. Why, why is it not focusing? Are you allowed to put that in? Am I allowed to put that in? I'll do what I like, mate. We've <laughs> got a tea with some milk. Fucking hell, cow's milk. Gonna lose now. With Hannah's help. <laughs> with the glasses on. Always. <laughs> not always. <laughs> I don't even need them anymore. I'm <laughs> just wearing them. <laughs> just wearing sunglasses inside. So I've just popped out to have a little coffee with Hannah and catch up. And she bought me some gifts. What an absolute babe. We've got some Pepsi Max. We've got some Nando sauce. And not just salad cream, guys. The original salad cream. That is going to be like meth. <laughs> Okay, I'm back from seeing Hannah. I'm just having my next meal, which is just a chicken salad today. And I'm having this so late, it's half free. <laughs> I've been putting it off, but next meal. Okay guys, it is a little bit later on now. It's currently quarter past five. I've just finished my client check-ins for the day. I actually have a new client call at six. So I'm gonna do a little bit of tidying and go and get some steps because I am only on 6k so I've still got 4k to tick off. I just forgot I haven't even shown you my nails yet so let me show you. So I went for pretty simple 
pretty simple on the old nails if it would focus that would be nice cool so we got french ombre with just some little gems and then i had my toes done as well but i'm not going to show those my toes are literally just nude pink whoa see me i'm just cooking up my next meal which is uh beef and potato but i thought i would show this it's literally my new favorite combo so beef mince beans chopped up in the microwave for a minute and then in the pan with some red onions and this which i'm gonna run out of the curry ketchup a little bit of this burger sauce is literally the best in the pan and then i'm gonna have it with some lettuce as well oh and also obviously spring onions i am about to have my last meal it is currently quarter to eight um, and then I'm going to chill out. I'm currently watching Bake Off. I'm literally loving Bake Off this year, probably because I'm dieted. Um, I love all food programs. When people ask me, oh, what do you watch on TV? I'm like, oh, so I love like Bake Off, Dinner Day, First Dates, uh, Come Dine With Me. <laughs> Basically all food programs. Um, but yeah, anyway, I'm going to have my last meal now, which will be my yogurt meal. And then head to bed. I am going to bed reasonably early at the moment because I am getting up so early, which I do need to sort out because I'm literally going to bed like half an hour after I'm going to be on stage on Sunday. So I don't really want to be tired for when I get on stage. So I'm hoping to have a lion on show day, but we'll see how that goes. Um, anyway, it was so nice to see Hannah today. I literally love that girl. She is so funny and we always have such a good catch up. So it was nice to see her. It was nice to do something that wasn't just fucking Groundhog Day <laughs> this peak week. Um, and to be fair, I am feeling a lot better than I was a few days ago. Sunday, Monday for me this week was rough, as you guys know. Um, but I'm definitely feeling more positive now, I think just because we are so close to show. So, yeah, just run a low carb today. We'll check in with Dan in the morning, as always, doing daily check-ins now. So, I'm going to check in with him in the morning and see what he says. Tomorrow I have a pump session just a little bit of back and hamstring work really really light but i'm gonna train in the evening well i'm gonna try and train for when i'm meant to be on stage which is going to be around about six half past six we think so i'm gonna try and train a little bit later on tomorrow just so i can see what i look like afterwards hopefully on actual show day i'll have a bit more of a pump because i'll have a few more carbs in me i'm assuming i mean i don't really know what dan's plan is but i will let you guys know in the morning of course what i'm doing with food tomorrow um whether we'll do another low carb or whether we'll run higher carbs again so yeah let me get my last meal out the freezer usual 200 grams of greek yogurt with half a scoop of whey um, and that will be my last meal for the day. I don't think I have anything else to add. So I will catch up with you guys in the morning. Good morning, YouTube. It is the next day now. It is Thursday and I am three days out. It's very early. In fact, it's too early really. I um, don't know why I'm awake at quarter past four in the morning, but that's my body clock for you. I just literally woke up at like half three and just could not get back to sleep. It just felt so sick. <laughs> so I'm awake. I've got my coffee. Chin chin. With no sweetener, but we move. Um, I'm actually getting used to it now, to be fair. I'm going to crack on and start my day. I'm going to do some client reviews. Um, some client eight week reviews this morning before client check-in starts at six. So yeah, I'm gonna check in as well this morning. This, this is what it is, it's Groundhog Day. It's literally Groundhog Day at this point. But we move. Okay, check-in is back from Dan. 
he is on it this week. What an absolute babe. Um, so we're going to run high carb today. Or higher carb. So that's sweet. He said that the low carb did what it wanted. It did what it did what it want. Well, <laughs> he said that the low carb did what he wanted it to do. Personally, I think I don't even see myself as me anymore. But. I'm happy that he's happy and uh, today we're going to be running high carb. So I'm having cream of rice for meal one, which you might be able to hear. It's currently half seven. I'm starving. So I'm going to be having that now. Um, and then, yeah, I've just got a morning of check-ins really, guys. So I probably won't have too much to talk about this morning. Um, but I have got a dentist appointment later because I've managed to chip my tooth right at the back here. What the fuck? Like, that's so random. Um, nothing to do with the veneers, like my temporary veneers that I have in at the moment, which I'll tell you about in a bit actually, um, funny story. Uh, but I've chipped my tooth, I was just chewing on gum, serves me right for fucking, sorry I better, that's how that's going to go wrong. Um, I was chewing on gum, serves me right for chewing gum, and yeah, it just broke off. I actually have the tooth bit here, not that he's going to be able to do anything with it, like he ain't going to be able to super glue it back on is he, but can imagine it's going to cost me an arm and a fucking leg isn't it to have that fixed so yeah i am just out sat outside the dentist i've just been in to have them look at my tooth i literally chipped up here which i said earlier so i went in um, on an emergency appointment which was 70 quid so 70 quid just to be seen yeah got in there he was like yeah like you just have chipped a bit of your tooth it needs a filling we'll do it now and I was like yeah cool sick but then oh I haven't told you the story yet have I I haven't actually told you guys on the YouTube the story so I think I've spoken about it before in my vlogs I'm having veneers currently I have temporary veneers in um I didn't want anything too fake I just wanted a little bit brighter a little bit whiter especially at the tops and a little bit more of a different shape right so i started this process months ago so i did like a month of teeth whitening and then you go in and you have your temporary veneers put in and you're meant to only have like two weeks i think max with these temporary veneers in because it gives you a chance to see if you like them and make any changes so i had these put in i do like them but i am making changes so you can kind of see they've got like the canines they're like quite natural um so i want to get those a little bit more fake <laughs> so i'm getting them squared off a little bit more um and i'm actually going a shade lighter as well and when i had the temporary veneers put in we booked in for the real ones to be fitted and they said oh we can do this week and i was like sick awesome get my veneers put in before my show have the freshest white teeth for show right didn't think any more of it the only thing I asked was like is it going to be really painful because obviously I'm so dieted now I'm just have no pain threshold anyway he was like no 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 it won't hurt da, da, da. it'll be the same thing but it won't be as bad in terms of the pain bearing in mind they put me under general general anesthetic didn't get put to sleep basically but my whole fucking mouth was numb like I couldn't eat for like five hours afterwards and my mouth was swollen so he's like yeah it's just the same process but not as much pain da, 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 won't take as long I was like cool sick book me in for Thursday bearing in mind my show is on Sunday anyway I was with Dan last week having my in-person check-in and we were just talking about it. it just came up in conversation I don't even know how and I was like yeah I can't wait to get my actual veneers put in like I'm getting them put in next week he was like I'm sorry what <laughs> I was like, yeah, I'm having my real veneers put in on the first day. And he was like, no, you're fucking not, mate. <laughs> and I was like, oh, why? Like, it makes total sense. I don't think Dan realised that, because um, he wasn't even too keen on me having my temperates put in, to be fair, because of the food situation. Um, but we made it work with, like, soft food. But anyway, he was like, you're not going under anaesthetic three days before your show like what happens if you react badly your water you hold water your mouth swells up too much like you have a just a reaction to it he was like what happens if that happens and i was like yeah i suppose you're right i didn't even think of that <laughs> so 
such a prep moment. Like if we hadn't had that conversation, I would have just gone and had it done and he would have been like, what the fuck are you doing? So yeah, I had to ring up the dentist and cancel my appointment basically and move it. So I'm having my veneers fitted next week now. Long story, sorry about that. But basically I went in today, back to the story went in today 70 quid just to fucking sit in the chair and he was like yeah you're gonna need a filling from where you've chipped your tooth um we'll do it now uh we'll numb your tooth we'll do it now and i was like no you won't i was like i can't i was like that's why i can't come in and have my veneers because i'm not i'm not allowed to have the anesthetic and he was like oh well we can't do the filling today then so i was like okay sick so to be fair they have put something in there to like cover it temporarily but basically i've just driven 35 minutes paid 70 quid and now i've got to drive 35 minutes back and i haven't even got anywhere with it so it was just so funny because i was like well if you're gonna fucking stick a needle in my face now you may as well put the veneers in but yeah anyway that's the drama so that's about an hour and a half of my day wasted especially for the fact that they were running late they were running 20 minutes late so probably have a million check-ins now so annoying i try and keep on top of my work on a check-in day and then something like this happens so i'm gonna head home now finish my check-ins or start working on my check-ins again um and then yeah we'll be trading later but drama 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 just imagine imagine prepping for like i've been prepping for nearly 30 weeks now guys prepping for 30 weeks and then fucking it three days out because your water your body's blown up to as a water buffalo because you wanted to get your fucking teeth done because you're an egotistical twat <laughs> that was literally gonna be me anyway right i'm going i'll uh, we'll see you at home okay guys i'm currently packing or starting to pack for the weekend um as i've mentioned we are getting an airbnb for tomorrow night saturday night and sunday night so i have like two bags to pack basically one of them being my show day bag which is actually a suitcase um i've used the same suitcase every time so it's like actually covered in tan to be fair like it's got tan on the fucking side of it so I'm going to pack my show bag suitcase now so that you guys can see what I'm going to be packing. Um, it might help a few people out who are packing for show day. Not that I'm an expert, I've only done it twice, but I'm going to show you what I'm going to pack. Um, and then I'll either pack the rest of my stuff tonight or maybe tomorrow, just because today is a busy check-in day, I still need to train um, and do steps. So I might pack that up tomorrow. And that might end up featuring on next video but first things first the bag so my biggest tip for show day is to take a suitcase because you don't really want to have to like like have a bag that's on your shoulder rubbing your tan a suitcase is just so easy to like move around so that is tip number one so this is what i'm going to pack I'm not going to pack all of this now because some of it I will need, but I just wanted to put it out here to show you. The other thing that I would suggest packing in this bag is something to wear when you get off stage and something to wear if you want to while you're waiting around. Obviously, I've got my show day robe, so this is just basically a dressing gown. I've actually got this from H&M. I love it because it's got like the lace details on the side. So I've got that robe. I'm also going to pack like big baggy clothes like this and my baggy um, joggers and I'm also going to pack what I'm going to be wearing to dinner so I haven't actually decided what I'm going to wear yet I have two options so that's something that I will also pack into this suitcase then of course we've got the bikini so I actually got this bikini um, cover or bag whatever you want to call it from amazon so if you don't want to take like the big box then you can get this on amazon so i'll take that with me as well obviously i still need to check in with that tomorrow so i'm going to put it back where it belongs but just to show you that that will go into the suitcase and um, then obviously my heels so stage heels I think these are the ones that I had last year. I actually have two sizes, don't even ask me why. Um, but I need to work out which ones are the ones that actually fit me now. 
because my feet are a size smaller. Um, then we have the M&S shortbreads <laughs> from last video. So I'll put those in as well. That's the only food I'm going to take. But I'm also going to pack some empty Tupperware because obviously Dan's going to give me food to be eating on the day. To be fair, actually, I might just pack three of these because I'll probably have about three meals in the day before I get on stage. So that's another thing to remember to pack in your suitcase if you're staying over the night before. Portable phone charger, it's like definitely essential. And also a set of portable scales. Um, so for example, I'll probably have peanut butter before I go on stage. So I can put the peanut butter on there and then obviously weigh it out. So peanut butter will probably go in the suitcase as well. Then we have the jewellery. So I've got my jewellery bag. I actually ended up going and buying a few more bits, by the way, guys. So I got these bangles, which are so nice. Just from a shop in town. I can't actually remember the name. Actually, it's on here. So this is the name of the shop. I think it's, uh, please focus. Where I got the jewellery from. So it's just this really nice bangle. So I've got those. I've also got the ringed, ringed? Road, road? <laughs> what? I've also got the rose bracelets as well. So I obviously won't wear all of that. I'll just decide on the day. Once everything's come together with makeup and hair, I will decide what jewelry I'm going to wear. And then I've got the rings that you guys saw in last videos. So a couple of rings. I also got a new ring as well, like a little bit of a thicker ring. Can you see that? A little bit of a thicker ring. And then the earrings of choice by the YouTube. Thank you guys for helping me decide. I'm going to go for these ones that you guys suggested in the comments. But I will also pack a spare pair just in case anything happens. So that will be the jewellery. So that will go in the bag as well. Tighten that up. My God, it's so exciting. I'm literally so excited now. I was buzzing my tits as well, yeah? Um, and then <clears throat> I've got this little carry travel bag what is that all on the inside don't even know so let me show you a couple of things that i've got in here so wet wipes um a sewing kit sorry my brain isn't working today nurofen paracetamol vaseline literally never going to need any of this but you never know uh dry shampoo a deodorant for after i get off stage oh my god that is two things I'm not looking forward to. Number one, not using deodorant for basically 24 hours. In fact, longer than 24 hours from when you get your tan. And second of all, not drinking water on show day. But for post, for post show. Some mouthwash, fucking random, but it's going in. Um, bikini bite, which you get told not to use, but um, I don't know, I just bought it. So I'm just gonna keep it in there anyway. Got some bikini tape, again, you never know. Got a shiwi, which I'm never gonna use because I'm just too fucking lazy, so I just risk it and piss on my leg. Um, headphones, might, might be unsociable, might not be unsociable backstage, but I've got my headphones in case I wanna listen to music. A spare camera battery, because I am gonna try and vlog as much of show day as I can for you guys. That definitely deserves a like, like show day is such a manic day. I'm gonna try my best to get as much footage as I can. And also a mirror, a mirror. So that is what I will pack in my little travel bag. And that is pretty much it guys. The only extra things that are gonna go in here are food, as mentioned, uh, and things like peanut butter and some clothes. So I do need to decide what I wanna wear for Miller and Carter. So excited. Um, and yeah, that is what I'm gonna be putting in my show day bag. So yeah, there it is. All of the bits and bobs that I will be packing. It is much later on now, and I am just packing up my gym bag, ready to hit the gym. 
It's currently half four. I'm not actually training until half five, but I've got some steps to do. So I'm going to do that on the treadmill while I reply to comments on here, comments on Instagram, because I'm posting so much content at the moment. I'm getting so much love, which I'm so grateful for. But because I'm not doing cardio now, I'm like, right, I need to allocate time <laughs> to reply to everyone because I want to see, appreciate the support so much. And like, even if I just like your like comment or whatever, just know I have still read the words and they do still mean a lot to me. But anyway, without getting too deep, I'm going to go and train pool now, pump session. So I will show you a little bit of that and I will show you the two out of 10 intensity that I put into the session. And then I'm going to get some post-workout videos just to see what I'm looking like because obviously the reason why I'm training late today is because I'm training at the same sort of time I'm going to be on stage. I'm tired. <laughs> I'm tired. <laughs> if, I, if you see me on stage this weekend, guys, and I'm yawning, just allow it, okay? My bedtime is half eight. So, <laughs> yeah, anyway, let's go to the gym and I'll catch you there. <laughs> I've literally had the tunes on the whole way here and guys I'm so fucking excited I can't believe I'm three days out Prep is a world wind a whirlwind? Is that even the thing? Prep is a fucking roller coaster of emotions guys so just ride that shit out Oh my god I'm so excited Let's get in there let's train let's pose let's get shit done <laughs> is where I'm gonna wrap up this video. I'm currently just editing, so I wanted to do a little outro and just say thank you for watching. Hope you are enjoying the content this close to show. I will leave because I have been asked a few times by you guys on YouTube about the show, watching it. So I will leave a link in the description for the live stream. I will be competing on the Sunday, Sunday the 16th at around about six, half past six in the pro figure category. So yeah, I'm going to be picking up my camera again today. I'm going to be filming two to one days out and of course show day so if you like the content make sure to give me a subscription or subscribe uh, i'm so close to 15,000 subscribers and yeah i will see you in the next few days